Hello action figure fans, this is Hammertron here with a new action figure review for you. This time I am reviewing the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Black Adam movie Atom Smasher. This was released in 2022. I bought this in 2023. Here it is in a very nice window box where we can see the action figure and the accessories and it's labeled with the Black Adam movie logo. Here is the top with the Black Adam movie logo and the window wraps over to the top. That's very nice, lets in more light. Here's the bottom with some manufacturing information. Here is one side, Adam Smasher from the Black Adam movie. Here's the other side where the window wraps around to the side, letting in more light. So very nice, it says Adam Smasher. On the back, we have a picture of Adam Smasher but no cross sell showing the other action figures in this wave. So I will open this up and review the action figure in just a moment. Here is the Atom Smasher action figure out of package. Here are the accessories that this action figure comes with. We have an action figure stand with a peg for the peg hole in the heel of the foot. We also get a card Nice picture of Adam Smasher and a little biography about Adam Smasher. We get a pair of extra hands. It looks like a, a right hand that's open and apparently the peg is on the forearm so we just pull the hand off and plug it into the peg on the arm. And we get a left fisted hand. Uh, same thing here with uh, the fist and then the hole in the wrist there. And here is the action figure. Now I've had to put the action figure in this pose because there is a problem with the leg a little bit uh, bent or something right out of the package so I'm disappointed with that. But if we measure the action figure, if we can actually get this action figure as straight and tall as possible, I think this would be maybe seven and a quarter inches tall, so nicely sized, but we can't really get him in the proper standing pose because if we look at this leg here, right out of the pack, it just appears to be bent or curved. I've tried to straighten it out by putting some pressure on it but uh, it doesn't stay maybe if I use hot water I can try to reset it that might work but I'm a little disappointed I shouldn't have to do that also when I pulled this action figure out of the package the whole body felt a little bit kind of sticky or greasy so I'm not sure what kind of plastic it was or it is but um, maybe it's breaking down already and his action figure is probably not quite even two years old. Spent most of the time in the package, so I'm a little disappointed about the material that is used to make the action figure. So I wanted to really like this action figure because I just think it looks kind of neat. I like the um, I like the costume design. Maybe it's a generic costume design, but it just looks like a typical uh, superhero type. Um, costume design but yeah you know, I like the color and the design it looks good all the way around I think we have pegos down here some details on the forearm there and the boots look okay except this one's just bent so let's take a look at the articulation with the head I can't really get it to look up. Looks down just a little bit. Turns side to side just a little bit. Seems pretty stiff, so I don't know if there's a problem. Maybe it'll loosen up over time. I don't want to push too hard. I'm afraid something will break. Here we have some, uh, looks like butterfly joints at the shoulder that seems to be moving a little bit. We can go up this far not too bad the shoulder joints are moving pretty nicely we can go all the way around 
So that's working. We have bicep cuts that are working. So that's nice. This one is working. So that's nice. We have double jointed elbows. So he can reach his face. So that's pretty good. And at the wrist, we can turn. That turns. I can't tell. I don't think there's really a hinge there. Here's the diaphragm cut. So we can do just a little bit of a crunch there, a tiny bit. Go back a bit more. Side to side a little bit. Go around. We can turn a little bit. Just a little bit. There's no waist twist here, so any turn is up here. I don't want to push too hard. I'm afraid something might break. At the hips, you can do some pretty nice splits there. And kick forward. It's not too bad. Kick back a little bit. Kick forward. And back just a little bit. No upper thigh cut on the uh, McFarland Toys figures. There's double jointed knees. So it's working pretty nicely now. Now right out of the package, when I first started moving it around, the upper knee joint was very, very stiff, but it's loosening up a bit now. And this side, does this bend? Is it gonna bend? There we go. So that's working. Yes, the upper knee joint is pretty stiff, but it's been loosening up a bit. Now there's no twist at the boot cut there. And the ankles, we can go down this much. And go up this much. And on this side there is an ankle twist where we can turn at the ankle so that one is working this side is not working I can't twist it and I would like to twist it but as we can see this this leg here seems to be kind of bent now this one is more straight this one's kind of bent and I, that's interfering with the ankle twist so I can't really turn the foot so if I try to get it to stand up, it looks kind of pigeon-toed. I'd like to be able to turn the ankle out a little bit on this side, but it won't work. Now if I straighten this out, maybe I can get it to uh, work correctly. We do get some ankle pivot, so that is working there pretty nicely. And the ankle pivot here is working. It's pretty nice. We also have toe articulation. So that is working. So in order to get this to stand, it takes a little bit of work to get it to properly balance. And spread out the legs and use the ankle pivot and then we can get it to kind of stand, but I'm still just really disappointed about this leg being bent the way it is. Here is Adam Smasher next to a pair of four inch action figures. On the right is an adventurer from an Animal Planet set I reviewed a while ago. On the left is the Fortnite Jonesy action figure by Jazzwares. And with Adam Smasher's size changing powers, this action figure fits in well with the 4-inch scale action figures where he's uh, in his giant-sized form. Here is Adam Smasher next to a 6-inch action figure on the left. The Fortnite Legendary Series Skull Trooper Purple Glow by Jazzwares. 
and a 7 inch action figure on the right. The Masters of the Universe Masterverse He-Man action figure by Mattel. And Adam Smasher, he could be a slightly larger than normal character with the 6 inch scale action figures or just a normal sized person at the 7 inch scale. So this fits in well with either scale. So my final thoughts on this action figure is I'm just very disappointed. I like the design. I like how this action figure looks. My biggest problem is this leg here. It just seems to be kind of bent and I haven't tried heating it up yet to see if I can fix it and get the ankle joint to twist. The pivot at least works but yet looking at how this figure stands he's leaning a little bit to uh, the right so I'm really disappointed about that also when I pulled this figure out of the package uh, it just felt kind of sticky or greasy or, or uh, oily it just felt really weird on my fingers and I, I wasn't happy about that so this leg problem is probably just with this figure here and maybe not a very common problem but the the feeling might be common across the entire production line so it, that's disappointing now I did try pulling off the hand and this is a different hand and it's not too hard to take it off so it just pulls off the peg we can plug it back in and that works very nicely so nothing to worry about there but uh, due to the particular problem with this figure, I'm just not happy. Alright, I, I like the design, I'm just not happy with this particular figure, so I'm a little disappointed. Um, so, thank you for watching my review video. Remember to like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know if you've had any problems with yours, if you have this particular figure. And subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. I'll see you next time. Bye.